Hey everyone, welcome to Schnobelt Tesla. So this is just a demonstration of our autopilot. I want to show how amazing it is in a variety of wintry conditions. Just a reminder, you need to be extra vigilant when you're driving in these unusual conditions. This is not really what autopilot is designed for yet. Just a reminder that the little blue highlighted steering wheel indicates that autopilot is on. I am running all of this footage at four times the normal speed, but I have uh, manually added the autopilot engage and disengage sounds so that you can be aware when I manually disengage autopilot for safety reasons or because I'm just being extra cautious. You know, for a lane assist system, it's just amazing. It just is incredible that it can determine where the lane lines are. Now you'll notice in the screen display that it's going to show that it's struggling sometimes to find exactly where the lane lines are, but it's actually pretty good and it doesn't drive too bad. Now one of the things it doesn't do very well is adjust automatically for poor road conditions so it doesn't slow down automatically, uh, but that's okay. You can see it really struggles sometimes to kind of guess where the lane lines are, but despite that it doesn't really swerve a whole lot back and forth. You can see that I tried to put it in autopilot here, but it doesn't actually work very well. So it's much easier to maintain autopilot engaged. In order to actually engage it, you must have lane lines visible. And obviously in these road conditions, that doesn't occur very often. You can see that in this particularly slushy section, it's not very good. It doesn't try and follow the track bare sections of the roadway. It tries to stay between the lane lines. This isn't particularly great. Uh, it's really bad when you're following the track bare and other people in the road are following track bare. So it tends to get a little bit closer to them that I'm personally comfortable with. But still, the fact when there are no actual lines visible and it's just a white icy road and it's still able to determine where the lane lines are. So as soon as they're visible, then I'm able to engage autopilot and once it's engaged, it will remain engaged. Uh, there's a couple times here where I had to manually disengage it because it wasn't doing the greatest job in the world. And again, just a reminder that adjustment of the speed is done by me. It doesn't make allowances and slow down in slippery conditions yet. It is still new and in development. Its ability to keep the lanes is just absolutely incredible. And this is just in its infancy stage. I'm really perplexed by a lot of comparisons that seemingly reputable places have completed that suggests that GM's or Ford's lane keeping assist features are better than Tesla autopilots. I challenge any one of them to try and put their vehicle in autopilot and have it actually drive fairly safely down these roads. Just a reminder, I was being extra diligent and uh, monitoring very carefully and slowing down a fair bit to make sure that autopilot didn't disengage when I didn't want it to. You know, autopilot's main goal is trying to keep you centered in the lane. And so wherever that lane is, is where it's going to try and keep you. So every once in a while, when the lane lines are obscured, you're going to see that it's going to swerve off to the side. When I am doing this, I am monitoring. I'm on a back road here, and so there's very little traffic. So I was giving it a little bit of leeway to swerve into an oncoming lane if it was clear and I could see no one was coming. And you'll see in this particular clip right towards the end, it's going to do a bit of a swerve off to the left, uh, but it does recover and come back on its own. On this particular stretch of road, it captured the slow ramp speed of 40 kilometers per hour. So even though the maximum speed indicated here says 40 kilometers per hour, this is actually an 80 kilometer limit stretch of road. So you'll see right here, it's going to kind of swerve over to the other lane, but it does come back on its own once it better estimates where the lane lines are.
It seems to work just as well at night as it does during the day. I know it's a lot more difficult for us humans to be able to drive without as much light, but it seems the cameras are pretty good at being able to see at night and the autopilot feature seems to work just as well at night as it does during the day. There's a couple of times that I do disengage it here just because uh, with oncoming traffic and the track bear section of the road being slightly offset from the lane line markings, I didn't want to uh, make anyone nervous by driving closer to them than was necessary when we passed. But all in all, I'd say this was a fantastic demonstration of how far Tesla's autopilot has come, and I can hardly wait for the improvements that are continuing to come. It seems every time my car gets an update, my car gets better at driving itself. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like this video if it was helpful. Cheers.